Hello and welcome to The Good, The Bad, and The Tarot. My name is Laura and this is going to be a mid-May general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. This reading is for my Sagittarius suns, moons, and risings. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everyone. For the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, I do suggest coming and getting a private reading with me. Spirit, what are the messages and energies that you have for the sign of Sagittarius? For my Sagittarius suns, Sagittarius moons, and Sagittarius risings. What are the messages and energies you have for Sagittarius for the month of May 2016? Shuffle. I am using the Anna K Tarot today. This is a new deck that I'm working with, but I've so far I'm loving it. Okay, let's take a look at your cards. Okay, so in the recent past, you have the Nine of Swords reversed. You have Temperance reversed. The Knight of Cups. Coming up with the Six of Pentacles and Justice. Very nice. Let's see if I can move that. Coming up in the present, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, uh, I would say the Five of Rods or the Five of Swords, the High Priestess. And the Empress. Beautiful. Going into the future, you have the Two of Rods, or the Two of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the Queen of Cups reversed, and she is coming up with the Tower in reverse, the Ace of Rods, or the Ace of Wands, and your outcome for the month of May is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay, Sagittarius, so what I'm seeing in your recent past, you have um, two cards in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse and Temperance in reverse. So what I'm seeing here is, and this would have been like last week or so, a situation where you felt like there was a lot of pressure on you and a lot of anxiety and pressure to do something. But I see that you were still healing and maybe uh, didn't have your energies balanced. So this could have manifested as just, um, undue pressure that you were putting on yourself either mentally or physically, and maybe, um, just dealing with some temper issues or needing to have more patience with whatever the situation was. Um, whether you felt like you were short on time or it was just too much all at once for you to kind of handle mentally. Um, I feel like whatever the situation was called for more patience from you and also not really putting, you shouldn't be putting yourself under so much pressure, whoever is doing this to you. Um, I don't think that it was good for you in terms of balancing your energies and kind of not good for your healing. So, but this was in your recent past. I also have the Knight of Cups coming up with the Six of Pentacles. This can represent a water sign, but it doesn't have to. The water signs are Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. He's a very romantic character. This is someone who is following his heart or her heart. This is a very passionate person, very whimsical kind of um, flowing energy. Definitely someone who is more more of a romantic and, as you can see with the roses, uh, stopping and smelling the roses. Again, when I talk about a person, it can also just be an energy that you were dealing with. Um, however, the knight is coming up with the Six of Pentacles as a clarifier, which tells me that if this is your energy, Sagittarius, you are very generous. Uh, very giving of yourself, very giving of your time and energy. And uh, there was a real balance of give and take. This can also represent the lover. So if some of you are unattached 
or even in a relationship. This can represent your significant other. And um, I'm also getting justice, which talks about balance, positive karma, um, legal decisions that are fair coming towards you. Um, this is just the universe's way of telling me that uh, since you have acted uh, on the right side of the law, since you have acted with moral and ethical standards, that you shall receive this positive karma in your life. So this is a just verdict. This talks about reaping what we sow and in the positive sense, um, a victory for you. So some of you may uh, actually have been getting a proposal, accepting a proposal, or even this can just signify that in a marriage or other relationship that uh, many of the pressures and healing that you were going through um, is now evened out and it looks like things are very balanced, were very balanced for you if this was a relationship. So very good. Let's move into the present. You have the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Rods, the High Priestess, and the Empress. So I see like this week, um, going into next week, things also being relatively good. With the Nine of Pentacles, this tells me that you are financially stable, Sagittarius, those of you that I'm talking to. This represents abundance, luxury, having the comforts that, you know, you feel that you should be surrounded by. Um, and this can also represent uh, a female in your life, those of you who are uh, males that are unattached, um, someone who is quite independent and uh, she really has everything except for maybe a partner. Hence why I'm seeing this Knight of Cups coming up here. Next to the Five of Rods, I see some competition. I see some challenge. I see some game playing, possibly petty hassles or struggles, but this can also just represent um, positive conflict. So in any relationship, you know, if you're single out there, there's going to be a little competition. Not everyone who is um, unattached is going to be free from not having competition. So this can represent that uh, for you, Sagittarius, you have people who are competing for your attention or people who sort of want to get um, your attention. It can also represent um, struggles, like power struggles between people. As you can see, these two men are wrestling, are arm wrestling, and they kind of have a happy crew behind them that are egging them on. So um, playful games as well, playful sort of barroom games. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be the kind of struggles that are um, maleficent or, or um, malevolent is what I mean to say. You also have the High Priestess here and the Empress. So the High Priestess tells me that you are very in touch with your intuition. You may have um, withdrawn from the world for a little bit to kind of listen to your own little voice, listen to your inner voice. There is a sense of knowing here, um, an inner knowing. And next to the Empress, this does talk about abundance, fertility, creativity, and nurturing. So I see a lot of positive energies around you at this time, Sagittarius. The only thing that I would call attention to is this Five of Rods, which does talk about it can represent some kind of conflict in your life, but it doesn't have to be a negative conflict. Um, arguing and disagreements can have positive outcomes, uh, especially if the other parties are willing to listen to each other. So overall, I think that um, I see really positive energies for you uh, in the current state of affairs. Let's see what you have going into the future. So this will be the next week or so. I do have the two of rods, which signifies that you have a choice to make. So you can see the man is kind of sitting here and he's pondering which direction to go. Some kind of choice to make. Um, this is a card that, that represents the potential of one or more options. Perhaps you are 
deciding um, which path to take in a particular situation. Now, it's, the cards aren't telling me exactly because this is a general reading, but I am getting a little bit of a clue here. With the Ten of Pentacles reversed, this can represent um, temporarily being exiled uh, from a long-term relationship or having some kind of loss of security. So the only thing I would caution to you with this card in reverse is this can represent some kind of family problem. This may represent a long-term relationship that is undergoing some difficulties or a loss of investment for you, loss of money or loss of income. And I kind of feel like just looking at his expression, he's not sure what to do. And I think this is regarding a family issue. There may be um, a lack of security that you're dealing with at this time. I may also be involving another water sign, as I said before, with the Queen of Cups reversed. This is a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer energy, but doesn't have to be. It can be someone that has um, a water sign in her chart, like in her rising or moon sign. I feel like this is a feminine energy because she is coming up as a queen here. I feel this person is taking on other people's emotional energy, but it's not necessary for this person to do that. He or she is becoming too involved in other people's moods. She may herself undergo mood swings or great changes in her energy. I feel this person is very sad about something. She's really much, very much dwelling in her, uh, drowning in her emotions. Coming up with the tower reversed, I feel like there's been a little bit of a jolt for this person, a little bit of a wake up call. Something has um, called your called her attention to an emotional issue. Notice the turbulence in the waves here in the fire. Um, so a little bit of an upset for this person. I think this is surrounding a family issue or a lack of security um, in the weeks going into the end of May. Your second to last card is the Ace of Rods. So just by looking at this, I can see that things are going to balance out for you. This is a new beginning, and um, I like how she's creatively used her wand to bridge, to go from one side of this uh, chasm to the other, and therefore um, making it easier for her to navigate this difficult terrain. So there is a little bit of creativity here that is gonna come into your life, and I think it's going to help you with this decision of where to go. I see you moving forward. And I see that you move forward because you are able to come up with a creative solution. Good for you, Sagittarius. Now your outcome for the month of May is the Ace of Pentacles reverse, which tells me that um, you may have to turn down some offer. You may... Um, need to ground yourself a little bit more before proceeding forward with this new idea or this this new solution. This can also represent some kind of rejection, um, but more than anything, it does tell me that there is a new opportunity waiting for you. It's just delayed. So you just need to hold on a little bit longer and um, know that that opportunity will present itself again for you at a later date. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your Oracle card. So, um, Spirit, please show me a guidance, a message of guidance for my Sagittariuses. This is for my Sagittarius suns, Sagittarius moons, and Sagittarius risings, and those on the cusp of Sagittarius. Messages of energies. For my Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know this month, Spirit? Oh, 
yes, this card. Okay, so the card that I pulled for you is Control. And I do think this does resonate with the Emperor, I believe, and the Major Arcana. So let's take a look at the meaning of this card. Number eight, Control. Sorry, this resonates with the Strength Tarot, the Strength of the Major Arcana, which is number eight. Keywords are master, influence, accept, compassion, patience, confidence. And I have a little um, crystal here that will help you with that. And this is citrine, which is great for self-esteem and lots of other usages. But specifically, um, I think it's great for this card. In order to flourish, relationships must be fluid and free rather than overly rigid and controlled by emotional neediness or insecurity. It's important to master your emotions so that they do not rule the relationship. A partnership based solely on emotion is out of balance and out of control. Self-control is the key here. Act from a combination of emotion, excuse me, emotion and intellect, and your relationship will thrive and grow. Be sure that your influence is gentle and loving. This is not the time for domination. This card asks you to accept another person's uniqueness and to not require that person to conform to a mold of your choosing just to make you feel more comfortable. And um, in addition, it says, uh, the affirmation for this card is, I control my emotions and embrace peace. With the additional reminder that with self-control comes confidence. Allow a situation to unfold and detach yourself from the outcome. Don't try to control it. The end result of self-control and confidence is supreme peace. Take some time to examine how control in its many aspects is affecting your relationships. Very interesting. Well, I don't think this is a bad reading at all. I see a lot of positive energies around you at this time. I do see that you have a decision to make or you are contemplating uh, a path here going into the end of May. Um, you may be dealing with some family issues or, or issues around a long-term relationship for some of you. And I do think that you do need to be patient with yourself and come from a place of peace and healing, especially when you're dealing with, um, you know, groups of people or, um, you know, with the five of wands here, I just wanted to say in terms of any kind of uh, argument or squabble that you might find yourself in, uh, coming at it with a place of self-control and not needing to kind of like control the outcome of that situation is going to put you in a very powerful position. Um, and I do see you coming up with a solution and being inspired also. This is a great card of inspiration. There is someone around you though um, and I feel this person is in need of uh, they themselves need to take care of themselves emotionally. And I'm not so sure that that is your energy at this time. I'm not sure if that is kind of in your, how do I say it? If you need to be the caretaker of this person, um, they may be upset about a lot, this loss of security. And you may just be deciding what to do next. I think that the outcome for May, like I said, is that some opportunity is going to have to be foregone for um, for now, but that a, a new opportunity will present itself at a later date. So I'm not going to say that that is a rejection for you. I'm going to say that that's a, an opportunity that you have to pass up um, because uh, it's just not time yet, just not the right time. And um, I think I'm going to draw an additional card for you, Sagittarius. I'm just um, with this uh, new moon energy, um, 
the moon is now in its waxing phase. Uh, I like to read from the Oracle Mermaid stack. Um, just, I feel very in tune with this deck. And um, let's just see what, what comes out. So the additional oracle card that I got is Sacrifice. It says there are those worth making, there are those that will destroy you. So remember what I said about um, needing to maybe pass up an opportunity or even this may even be a rejection of some offer or, or declining a job offer, declining some opportunity for something better, because something better is waiting for you, Sagittarius. Something more um, to your liking is around the corner. And let me just read to you from the Oracle Mermaids book here. It says, you may be contemplating doing something that is a hardship or giving up something that is precious to you in order to demonstrate how important a third option is to you. Remember to make the choice to sacrifice and that by doing so, you have made what has been offered up holy and made more sacred the goal you are questing for. Make your sacrifices wise ones and be sure to decide whether the sacrifice is the best path. Sometimes people make what they think are sacrifices because they feel others will view them in a certain way. And by doing so, they can become martyrs and wish only to be viewed as good. Remove this from your thinking. See whether you truly wish one thing or another. And then when you make the choice and it is freely given, then you have truly made something sacred. The whole process has become divine in its nature and the reward is in the space and clearing you have created into which the great good can be poured. You will be blessed for you have blessed the world with your offering. So this does relate to the choice that you are going to be making at the end of this month here. And it may be concerning a long-term relationship, like I said, or a family issue, a family matter. And important to not let your emotions take control uh, or someone else around you to um, become overly emotional. Um, you need to kind of take a step back and just be patient and, and uh, not need to have an outcome not need to control the outcome. But you do need to make a sacrifice and that sacrifice um, will be because of a well thought out choice that you've already thought about and have decided on. And therefore that, sac that sacrifice is going to bring in this new opportunity for you, this new potential. So uh, quite an interesting reading, quite a positive reading for you, Sagittarius. Um, one of the, I'd say, um, of all the signs that I've read for, I think you guys are doing rather well this month. I know it's not been easy. We all thought May was going to be um, a smoother ride than it's already turning out to be, but uh, there are five planets in retrograde this month, and I think Mercury in retrograde, so there are things that we are dealing with from the past that we have to deal with now. And so we can move on into the spring with a, a clean slate, so to speak, and with our heads on straight. So if you've enjoyed this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. I read all my comments and I enjoy hearing from you. And do stay tuned for the love forecast. I'm going to try and post those on the last week of May. So you'll get them before June. And um, thank you for joining me. Sending you much love and light. Namaste.